White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer today telling the media President Trump is empowering the Department of Homeland Security to carry out his executive order on immigration. This morning, Secretary Kelly and the Department of Homeland Security released memos regarding the implementation of two of the president's executive orders that are designed to protect the homeland. The memos call for swift action in identifying, detaining, and deporting unauthorized immigrants. Out of the country's 11 million immigrants living here illegally, it prioritizes enforcement for those charged, convicted, or suspected of a crime. Under President Obama's order, only those convicted of serious crimes were considered a national security threat. It calls for the hiring of 10,000 more ICE agents, an additional 5,000 more Border Patrol agents, and 500 more air and marine officers. What the order sets out today is ensures that the million or so people that have been adjudicated already, uh, that there's a, uh, that ICE prioritizes, creates a system of prioritization. It also calls for the beginning phases of planning the border wall expansion between the U.S. and Mexico, a long talked about campaign promise, and increases the ability of local police departments to help enforce immigration laws. But the White House also went to great lengths emphasizing it'll keep protections in place for more than 750,000 unauthorized immigrants brought to the country as children, known as DACA. The American Civil Liberties Union called it an aggressive attack in a statement saying, these memos confirm that the Trump administration is willing to trample on due process, human decency, the well-being of our communities, and even protections for vulnerable children in pursuit of a hyper-aggressive mass deportation policy. However, President Trump does not have the last word here. The courts and the public will not allow this un-American dream to become reality. Remember, everybody who is here illegally is subject to removal at any time. That is consistent with every, every country, not just ours. If you're in this country in an illegal manner, um, that obviously that there's a provision that could, could ensure that you be removed. But the priority that the president has laid forward and the priority that ICE is putting forward through DHS's guidance is to make sure that the people who have committed uh, a crime or pose a threat to our public safety are, are the priority of their efforts. But immigration rights groups are already fearful of the repercussions. 32BJ SEIU is one of the largest immigrant worker unions in the country. Its New Jersey chapter said, quote, We believe that in order to defend the rights of all workers, millions of undocumented men and women who are already part of our communities must be brought out of the shadows and given protection under the law. The current administration's deport everyone approach is not only an affront to our values as a nation of immigrants, but is already punishing hardworking families who are deeply rooted in our communities. The administration is also creating the Victims of Immigration Crime Engagement Office. You'll recall then-candidate Trump, while on the campaign trail, regularly talking about the crimes committed by unauthorized immigrants. This office will help the families and victims of those crimes. And it also puts an end to what's known as catch and release. Now, once an unauthorized immigrant is caught, they'll be detained until their case is resolved. In the newsroom, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.